Making science fun and accessible is not an easy task. However, today's guest has managed to do just that. Daryl Baines is the president of the Minority Aviation Education Association. Daryl, mm -hmm. you've got some cool stuff yes. with you, but before, Absolutely. before we dive into that, can mm -hmm. you explain exactly what the association is there for? We travel around the country doing science programs to get kids excited about math, science, and technology. I mean, because of the underrepresentation of minorities and women, but also because of the fact that we in bring into our country so many foreign nationals every year, if we get some of our kids who are live here to be interested in science and math related careers, then they can take those jobs. Wow, now how many kids do you reach out to? I mean, do you visit uh, on, on annual basis? We see basis? about 100,000 kids a year. Really? Yeah, That's all across the country. Fun. How long have you been doing it again? Uh, Ten years. Wow. Now, aviation, it, you started out just focusing on that, but then you expanded right. to just... Then we expanded it because of the same underrepresentation of minorities and women. That's why we expanded to cover all of the sciences. All right. And science is really cool and fun, and if we get kids excited about it, Maybe they'll think about it as a career, you know. Show me. Like that. Show me. Show me. I, I, this is crazy. We're going to start off with something very easy. Everybody, when you walk down the street, you see clouds in the sky. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a cloud in this bucket of water. Okay. Then we're going to pour that cloud on your head. Okay. Because your friends here tell me that you always have your head in the clouds. Uh, we're going to do it for real. Which is very true. Okay, okay. so how are we going to do this? In this container, this is nothing but a thermos bottle, we have some liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is 196 degrees below zero Celsius. So it's 196 degrees colder Whoa. than ice in your refrigerator. I feel like a mad scientist now. <laughs> we're going to take this and just dump it over your head. Oh, so now what if, what if, what, oh, that feels, that feels kind of good actually. <laughs> what the... Is my head gonna break off now? No. Okay. No. 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 Even though it's cold. And when you when you were doing the teas earlier and you were drinking the liquid, yeah. all we had was a cup of water with some liquid nitrogen in it. Now isn't so. that dangerous though? I've always seen like in the movies, like when liquid nitrogen gets you know touches someone, doesn't that like hurt them? Doesn't it hurt if they touch liquid nitrogen? Well, let's see. We have a bowl here. We're going to pour in some liquid nitrogen. 196 degrees below zero. Very, very cold. Very and cold. It's evaporating it's almost like immediately. You see it, it is so cold it's boiling at room temperature and then we're just going to touch it. Ah! But our bodies are so warm as soon as you touch it, it turns into a gas. Isn't Whoa! Cool? And your hands are not wet, not frozen. No. Nope. They're not. But, but wait a minute, what, yes. how, how, how does that, how, does, how come it doesn't freeze? I mean... Because your body is so warm. But if you left it in there... Yeah. It would turn. It would make your fingers cold, and then it would freeze it solid after about three, four minutes. Kind of like, like I think Terminator 2. On the movie Terminator yeah. 2. But you notice in that movie there was a whole tanker full of liquid nitrogen that fell on the Terminator that made him freeze. Yeah. Right. Your body, if that much liquid nitrogen fell on you, you would burn to death. Actually, you wouldn't oh. freeze. You'd oh, burn. That would kind of stink. Okay. That would kind of stink. So All right. We're balloon. gonna do another experiment. We're gonna do some animals here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Inside this balloon is your air. Air mm -hmm. is a gas. Mm -hmm. We're going to take that balloon and put and it coffee. in liquid nitrogen and see what will happen. A couple things could happen. The balloon could freeze solid like the Terminator. Could get bigger, could get smaller, or it could pop right away. Okay, that's enough. Hand me the balloon. Yeah, my voice going to sound Here, funny. I'll do it myself. Oh, you can do it yourself. Yes, because it'll take, it'll take you a while. No helium in my voice. It just... And actually, helium makes your voice sound different because the molecules move so fast. Really? The definition of temperature is the degree of molecular motion. We're going to slow down. Here, you do it. Okay. Slow down the molecular motion of that gas. All right. As the molecules slow down, Whoa, they get closer to the yeah, gas. Yeah, it's, it's getting harder. smaller. So wait, wait, is the air escaping? The air is not escaping. The molecules are just getting colder. Therefore, they're getting closer together. Okay. The degree of molecular motion is slowing down. The motion is slowing down. All right. And as you push down, what we will see is that all of your air, which was a gas, is going to condense into a liquid. So in the bottom of the balloon, we're going to see a liquid. Really? Yep. Keep pushing. Okay. And then before your fingers get the liquid yeah. on it, we'll put oh, the balloon, whoa. we'll put the, put this on top. It's getting like white stuff inside there. Right. And most people think that when you exhale, you exhale carbon, carbon dioxide, dioxide. But yeah. that's not true. When we exhale, we exhale mostly nitrogen. So in the bottom of the balloon, we're going to see a mixture of nitrogen and oxygen and a little bit of... It's like the a little bit of CO2. That, uh, lunch lady wears. Now, this is what you're going to do. You're going to grab the balloon by the edge and hold it up so everybody can see on the edge. Oh, yeah, sure. Everybody can see the white Whoa. liquid. It's like milk. Then we're going to blow it back up from the outside. Hold it in Wait. your hand and okay. blow on it. Blow. Bam. And then turn. Turn while you blow. Yeah. 
Is that cool or what? Wow, it is. Oh my God. Right there where it's frozen. As things get cold, they get closer together. As they warm up, they get farther apart. Whoa, so the same amount of air is in here. Still in there. It's tied off at the end. None of the air came out. Now wait, what's the white crusty stuff in there? The little bit of white stuff is carbon dioxide. See the the little there? bit of dry ice that we exhale when we breathe. Not a lot, just a little. And because it's a solid as we warm it up, it turns into a gas. <laughs> solid to a gas, which is sublimation. Okay. Now, you know, I heard you talking during the other segment. You said you were hungry. That was kind of hungry. So, we're going to dump a few uh, marshmallows in there. You should do this to peeps. Remember those? You stuff them in your mouth and go, you say chubby bunny and try to get as many as you can. Holy cow, dude. Like now, we have stew. this marshmallows and liquid nitrogen. Mm -hmm. Sounds like chicken frying. <laughs> we're going to take these and eat them. Well, wait a minute. How right. come? How come they're not shrinking? Because the marshmallows have holes in them so that the air can get in and get out like the balloon was sealed. Yeah. So the air can't get out. It has to get closer together. And here, the marshmallows are porous. So we're just going to take a marshmallow, pop it in our mouth. Okay. Oh, that's cold. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Kind of hard, but it's a lot quicker than frying it over a fire. Tastes like Lucky, uh, tastes like lucky Charms. Cereal. Yeah, it does. Wait, is this how they make Lucky Charms then? No, actually, they dehydrate mini marshmallows. This stuff tastes great and it's less filling. It is actually really good. Here, check this out. Keep your mouth closed. It'll come out your nose. My nose is soft. No, you can't shove it up your nose. No. No. Now, remember, our bodies are really warm. Mm -hmm. We can blow on it. And create a cloud. That is so cool. It is. Now, just imagine if you're a student and I came and I poured a, a cloud on your head, wouldn't you get interested in science? Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, that's actually, yeah. That's actually how I got this way. Someone poured a little too much. I understand. Thank you, Daryl. Happens to the best of us. <laughs>